Hi everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use NordVPN on your Android phone. Now NordVPN is one of the top VPN services available today. NVPN simply stands for Virtual Private Network. And it allows you to mask yourself online. It takes your IP address and routes it through a server in a different region. And then your end destination sees the IP address of that server instead of you. Now I'll include a link down below to NordVPN as well as any other deals or discounts that you can't get on their website. So let's hop onto our phone and the first thing we'll do is head over to the Google Play Store and in the top search bar type in NordVPN. Now the first result should be NordVPN and the title should say NordVPN Fast VPN App for Privacy and Security and you know it's the right one when you see over a 4.5 star rating. With over 800, 000 reviews and 50 million plus downloads. That's how you know that is definitely the right NordVPN, because it is one of the most widely used VPN services available. And it's available on not just your PC or Mac computers, but also iPhone, Android, and some gaming consoles. And once downloaded, you can go ahead and hit open to open up the NordVPN app. Now with the app open, the first thing you'll be greeted with is a map of the world, and you can pinch to zoom in and out just like most other map applications. And it shows you visually all these different location icons that simply represent the different countries that NordVPN is available in or has a presence in. It's not the amount of servers, but the amount of countries. Now, within these countries, there are different regions that Nord is in. And then within those regions, there are different servers. So it really just branches out from the top down and hitting the quick connect button will just grab the most efficient and best connection for you and your device. Or clicking on any one of those. Location icons will connect you to the best available server within that country for you. Now on your first connect, it's going to ask you to approve NordVPN as your VPN service for your phone. You'll go ahead and hit OK. And as you can tell clicking on the country, after you've already connected to it, you can then get a full list of all the available regions for that country. You can just swipe up and get a full list. And then you can see also it has a total number of servers in those regions. So you have a good idea for the better locations, especially if you're someone who's trying to avoid region lockouts on streaming sites, or if you're looking for a specific destination to connect to. Now clicking on that gear icon in the top left will bring open the account and settings page, and it gives you a full list of all the available settings within Norm VPN. Now, just below that you have the Allow Local Network Discovery, which allows you to subvert your VPN and connect to local devices such as printers and other computers on a similar network. And then below that you've got the split tunneling, which simply allows you to control whether or not certain apps are connecting to your VPN when they're using Wi-Fi and by default that's on. So everything that uses Wi-Fi as long as Nord is on and connected to a VPN server will use your VPN. So you won't have a specific app that accidentally connects unless you want it to. Now just below that you have the auto connect setting which allows you to connect automatically and set the parameters for that whether you're on cellular data on Wi-Fi or if your VPN is always on. And by default that's off. So if you want your phone to automatically connect to the VPN, the second you turn it on, make sure you go into this setting and hit always. Otherwise, you have full control, whether it's just on cellular data or Wi-Fi. Now jumping down to the next setting is VPN protocol. And that's just how the VPN service connects to its servers. NordVPN offers three different protocols. But by default, it uses the recommended one, which is simply the best one for your specific situation that's based off location connection and a couple of other parameters. Now, you'll see when you're connected, there's a little green bar at the top of the window. Clicking on that will give you a drop-down showing you your IP address as well as the protocol that is used to connect to that server. Now, whenever you're connected to a server, like I said before, all you have to do is swipe up and you can see more settings about that and get a full list of all of the other countries that you can connect to. Now, what's cool here is on the mobile version, you can see how many cities are available under those countries. And within those cities, it gives you a list of all the available servers. So you get an idea for how many servers are within that city and then how many cities are within that country that you can connect to. And just like that, that is how to use NordVPN on your Android phone. Now Nord is one of the most powerful, secure and fastest VPN services out there. But what's even better is they have a 30 day money back guarantee so you can try it out. And if you're not a fan, let me know.
you don't end up losing anything. But if you're like me, you'll end up keeping the service anyway, because you'll just be that impressed with it. And like I said before, I'll include a link down in the description below as well as any other deals or discounts to go along with it that might not be available on their website.